tell us about a time when you encountered a problematic situation in your work. How did you manage this? Tell us about a time when you encountered a problematic situation at work. How did you manage this? Thank you for the question. How I encountered a problematic situation and how I came out of it. So uh, I'll take a very simple example. Uh, recently, I was served as the president of Daffodils Toastmasters Club. And when I took over as the president, one of the biggest issues or the biggest problems we saw was the dip in membership from a club of well-doing club of 75 to 80 members. It was slowly dipping down to the 50s. And what I saw here was a problem was to make sure that we get back at top there. So that is when we started strategizing the next six months of our term. Everything from every beginning, every second, every meeting was put in place in such a way that everything was planned out perfectly. And I think that planning helped me overcome that problem where all of my team members are assigned deadlines and responsibilities to achieve and that really helped us plan out every uh, plan out the term effectively and i think that helped us put us back uh, put daffodils back up with 77 members and also become a uh, president's distinguished club helped gain seven dcps and two more in the next upcoming term please provide a specific example of when you have inspired a group of toastmasters to take action to serve our members. Please provide a specific example of when you have inspired a group of Toastmasters to take action and serve our members. I think I'll again take this example back to my term as the president of Daffodils Toastmasters Club. And uh, during my tenure as president, we conducted three speechcraft programs at Daffodils. And these three, we, I made it a point that executive committee members will not be part of the coordinating of coordinating the speechcraft program. And so that is when I uh, ensure that, that I spoke to new members of the club. I made them understand what leadership opportunities that this offers to them, got them into the speechcraft part of the club, uh, mentored them on how to go ahead with the speechcraft programs. And we successfully went ahead with uh, conducting three spe uh, speechcraft programs with 85 speechcrafters. And I think when you bring uh, members out of the blue and give them leadership positions, you're generating a lot of new leaders. And I think that is an amazing thing to do. I think this will be the best example that I can uh, share for this question. What will you differently than leaders who have served before you? What will you do differently than leaders who have served before you? Coming to this question, I think uh, for me, it is not what I will do differently. It is what I will add on to what is being done in Division B. Division B right now, from my understanding, is one of the best divisions of District 92 with 45% uh, community and 55% corporate clubs. Uh, they are a, a president's distinguished division already. So I think the charts are always ticked for Division B. And what extra I am going to uh, bring into Division B is part of going to be my vision for Division B. I think one of the major things I want to concentrate is the growth of Division B. Uh, in uncharted territories that have not been explored before. And the second thing uh, would be to ensure that the engagement of members is present in Division B in a much higher level. When I reached out uh, to members of Division B, I think the request they had or the what they're looking forward from a division director or from a division pers perspective was more engagement for members. And that would uh, come with conducting events, conducting uh, division-wide initiatives where members can engage as uh, role takers, as speakers, uh, as leaders. And I think that uh, is what exactly I want to be a uh, make part of my vision. And I think that is that would be one of my areas of concentration for Division B. What leadership skills and experiences can you bring to the district? What leadership skills and experiences can you bring to the district? Uh, I think my past experience have always uh, trained or uh, taught me that strategic planning and having a vision is always something that has helped me before. And uh, I think that is what I want to implement uh, and help the district or provide to the District 92, perhaps. And uh, I would like to go ahead with my pitch. Uh, leaders of District 92, with a lot of experience and enthusiasm, I am working towards expertise. And I am looking forward to your support for the Division B director. I come with a simple five-point agenda for Division B. Number one is empower more brilliant leaders at Division B. Number two is explore uncharted areas for continuous growth of Division B. Third one being assisting existing clubs to reach excellence. And the fourth one, engaging members so that they enabling them to become better. And the final one is being building better clubs, speakers, and leaders for Division for the future. I am looking forward to your support to help 
to capitalize the experience and expertise of Division B, spread them across everywhere so that everybody can be at the epitome of their Toastmasters journey. I am looking forward to your support so that I can make, or so that we can make every club, every speaker, and every leader of Division B be the best.